your head when you can't pay your taxes. Don't lose your head when they're grinding their axes. Try to be calm when your head's on the block. You may be in for a nasty shock. Don't lose your head, get a hold of your wig. Smile when the grave digger starts out to dig. Don't lose your head, you'll get by in the end. Don't lose your head, my friend. Don't lose your head when they're screaming for blood. Don't lose your head or your name will be mud. You're asking for trouble if you know the head. Cause when you wake up, you'll be dead. Don't lose your head when the world's at its worst. Don't lose your head when the bubble has burst. Don't lose your head, you'll get by in the end. Don't lose your head, my friend. Paris, 1789. The great revolution has begun. The hands of the masses are smeared with the blood of the poor bleeding aristocracy. Every day the tumbrils run a regular half-hour service between the Bastille and the many guillotines around the city. The growing mounds of noble heads are only matched by the growing mounds of unused return tickets. No one is spared. Madame la guillotine claims them all. Dukes and duchesses, lords and ladies, men and women of both sexes. A dozen times an hour, the drums roll, the blade falls, and the heads roll. Yes, every five minutes, a freshly sliced loaf. And there, as always, grimly watching the results of his evil machinations, keeping a watchful eye out for queue jumpers, stands the most dreaded man in all France. Robespierre's chief of secret police, Citizen Camembert. There. And beside him, as always, keeping careful count of the grim harvest, his number one assistant, the toadying Citizen Bidet. I said heads, not tails. The wretched Aristos the wrong way round. That Malabons, he doesn't know his head. don't want head. to go into all that. He'll have to ally. Eh? He'll have to go. Disgusting. Roger. Didn't you see that last one? He had terrible scurf. Sterilize the blade. Can't be too careful, you know. Oh, I agree, citizen. Sir. Sorry, citizen, sir. That's better. What's the tally for today so far? Uh, 26 out of Aristo. Oh, that's very good. Carry on chopping. Meanwhile, just across the channel, far removed from the awful scene of carnage, the cosy little homes of England ring with merry, carefree laughter and satisfied after-dinner belches. As the aristocracy, oblivious of the horrors facing their counterparts in France, continue with their normal and fashionable country pursuits. Hunting. And of course, shooting. Not to mention the most pleasurable of them all, fishing. No 
one indulged in these pleasures more diligently and energetically than two of society's most distinguished and fashionable layabouts. The powdered, bewigged, beribboned Sir Rodney Effing, with two Fs, and his inseparable companion, Lord Darcy Pugh. Good day, gentlemen. Good day, I suppose, sir. <sighs> it's all a monstrous bore. What say you, Darcy, my dear? Definitely the same old rounds. Same old people. Same old girls. Same old tea parties. Same old concerts. Same old balls. <sighs> Henri, we regret to inform you we're bored with our appearances. Exceeding bored. I mean, this wig you give me, they're absolutely common. Definitely below your usual standard, Henri. <laughs> Please forgive me, gentlemen, but I've been so upset by the news I've received from my beloved France. Your beloved who? France, my country. Oh, I thought he meant a person, a chap, a girl. Oh. News? What news? Why? The revolution. Revolution? What does he mean, Dorothy? Some new form of vice, I imagine. You know what they're like over there. Oh, yes. Another bore. No, no. Haven't you heard, gentlemen? All the aristocracy of France are losing their heads. But that isn't news. <laughs> by the guillotine. Oh. Uh, Executed. Oh. oh. For what reason? For no reason at all, except that they are lords and ladies. Ladies, too? I say, that isn't cricket. Damnable waste to boot. It's madness, absolute madness. And no one is lifting a finger to help them. No one at all. Please excuse me, Sir Ron. I am so overcome. <laughs> Step me sideways. Did you hear that, Darcy, my dear? They're actually chopping their heads off over there. There's no one lifting a finger to help them. Disgraceful. Damned. I say, Darcy, my dear, do you think that you and I might... Lift a finger? Or two? I say, that would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it, Chad? <laughs> Darcy, to Paris. And so started the rescue operation that was to utterly bewitch, bewilder and bedevil citizens Camembert and Bidet. An operation in which Sir Rodney and Lord Darcy, by means of a series of audacious ruses and artful disguises, snatched the victims from the very steps of Madame La Guillotine. leaves one of these things behind, eh, Citizen Camembert? Uh, yes, Citizen Robespierre. What is it? What's it supposed to be? From inquiries that I've made, I gather it's a sign used in England to convey contempt. England? Yes, many of them have it on their coats of arms, two digits, rampant. And what you're trying to say is that this, this, um, what did you call him? The black fingernail, for want of something better. One of the nails is black. Yes, yes, yes. Is he a member of the British aristocracy? Oh, undoubtedly. And I spit on them. So do I. Oh, oh, oh. Big pardon. This man must be stopped, Camembert. Don't worry, citizen. I'll get him next time. Well, you'd better. Now, the Duke de Pomfret goes to the guillotine tomorrow as a prominent leader of the Royalists. I said Royalists, Camembert. Oh, yes, of course. That's better. Now, as I was saying, if the Duke de Pomfret should escape, it would be disastrous. Don't worry, citizen. I have the guillotine platform inspected. There'll be extra soldiers on duty. By this time tomorrow, the Duke of Pomfret will definitely have had his chips. of the 
guillotine, only five francs each, complete with six aristos with fully detachable heads. <laughs> Take one over to the kids tonight. Play with it yourself later on and watch it fall off in your hand. Right, here we are, five francs. Good old Darcy. And that's right, lovely dear. <laughs> Come on, B-Day, come on, let's get started. Certainly, citizen, sir. Uh, Le Duc de Pomfret. Le Duc de Pomfret! Le Duc de Pomfret! Le Duc de Pomfret! That's him. Get ready. Well, don't just stand there, man. Go and get him. Have him off. Hey? Yes, all right. Clear the way! Clear the way, Dad! Pomfret! <laughs> Pomfret, we're waiting for you. Oh, hello. <laughs> I shan't be long. I'm just on the last chapter. <laughs> this is good, you know. <laughs> Put that book down. Oh, I couldn't possibly do that. This is the latest Marquis de Sade. <laughs> Come on. Take your filthy hands off me, peasant. Peasant? Peasant, am I? Let me tell you that my blood's as good as yours. Nonsense. Everyone knows your father was a basket maker. <laughs> Aha. That's where you're wrong, see? Because nobody knows who my father was. Not even my mother. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh on the other side of your face when your head comes off. Come on. Come Thank on. you. I'm quite capable of making my own way. <laughs> Your Grace, there's an urgent letter for you. Oh, drop it in the basket. I'll read it later. <laughs> Short back and sides, not too much off the top. One has to admire his courage. These Aristos are all the same. Anything for a giggle. <laughs> The uh, Duke de Pomfret. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm sorry to bother you at a time like this, Your Grace. Oh, that's quite all right. It happens to all of us. Yes. A pinch? Thank you, no. Now, I represent Lloyd's of London, and I was just wondering whether I could interest you in a little life insurance. I don't think so, thank you. Not today. Uh, it's a very good policy, Your Grace. It covers accidental death by drowning, shooting, stabbing, poisoning, hanging. Beheading? Uh, no. Well, we can't take too many risks, you know. What's going on here? You, sir, how dare you obstruct the course of justice in this way? All right, all right. I'm only trying to make a living. A living? Are you fully covered? I hope so. Come on, Get come your on. Get off. Do go you on. mind. Ali, oh, go. Terribly sorry to keep you waiting, Your Grace. That's all very well. But this would never have happened under a royalist government. There's no need to make a political issue out of it. Carry on, Malabons. Now, what's the matter? I don't know. It weren't all right this morning. Uh, excuse me. But isn't the rope caught up at the top there? No, it isn't. I wish you'd mind your own business. I was only trying to help. We are quite capable of managing on our own, thank you. Well, I wish you'd hurry up. I'm getting a shocking pain in the neck down here. I assure you, my dear Duke, that once we get this thing working properly, you'll be the first to know about it. Uh, excuse me, citizens. I think I can see what the trouble is here. What do you know about it? Plenty. Take that blade up. I'm sorry to bother you, Grace, but would you mind stepping out? Oh, really? Just as I was getting comfortable. Aha. Uh -huh. I thought so. Who made this thing? I did. I approved the design, of course. Yes, well, you didn't do a very good job, did you? One of these runners got a kink in it. Yeah, that's what it is. You have got a kinky runner. I ain't got a kinky runner. Keep yourself. I don't see no kink. Oh, it's there, all right. Never work like that. Of course it'll work, won't it, Malabung? Of course, of course. Do you want a bet? Yes, 100 francs. You're on. Right. We'll show him, won't we, Malabung? Yeah, yeah, we'll show him, yeah. Come on, you. Dear, oh dear. I owe you 100 francs. What have I done? Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> Have no right! Get him off! Guards! Guards! Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! I'm a faithful servant of the public! You have no right! Guards! Thank you. Guards. My pleasure. Get him off! Get down! Down! Help! Help! Guards! Guards! Protect my person! Guards! 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 You have no right! I'm Cannondale! I'm the big 
cheese. Get off, get off. I'm an essential member of the government. You have no right. Get him off, get him off. Stay down. It's all the fault of that wretched insurance salesman. Where is he? Where's he gone? I'll have his head for this. He's gone. So is the Duke de Pomfret. What? <laughs> what is it, citizen, sir? The black fingernail. Oh. It seems that the English have struck again. Yes, citizen Robespierre, but then they say it's the one thing the English are good at, striking. <laughs> I'm not amused. Neither am I. So, citizen head of secret police Camembert, the one who calls himself the Black Fingernail, has fooled you again. Oh, I wouldn't say that, citizen. No, you wouldn't. No. This is his calling card. It was found in the guillotine after that disgraceful exhibition this afternoon. Yes, that's true, but he didn't fool me. Oh, no, not for one minute. He didn't. Oh, perhaps I've got the story wrong. This time he posed as an insurance salesman, correct? Yes. He abducted the Duke de Pomfret from under your very nose. Yes. And tricked you into executing your own execution. Yes. And he didn't fool you for one minute. But I knew who he was. I wanted to see how far he would go. Oh, blooming dear. He couldn't have gone very much further, could he? Oh, I don't know. We've still got the guillotine. Now listen, Camembert. I want this fingernail caught. Do you understand me? Yes, citizen, but the trouble is I don't know what he looks like. Nobody does. You'd better find out. Or nobody will know what you look like. Oh, everyone always recognises me. Without a head. <gasps> now, get out of here and find him. Yes, citizen, I'll do my best. But it won't be easy. The fingernail is a master of disguise. He could be anyone. Get out! Get out! Come now, girl. Admit it. You're a cursed arista, aren't you? Come, come. We secret police of ways of making people talk. Shall we use the thumb screws? No. No, no, we'll wait till Citizen Camembert gets here. If there's any screwing to be done, he'll do it. He's practically screwed up the revolution already. Ah, be there. All roads and other exits out of the city are guarded? Oh, yes, definitely, sir. But this woman here... Bridges are securely held? I haven't asked her, sir. I said bridges, not britches. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Good. This accursed fingernail must be caught this time. If only we knew what he looked like. Don't worry, citizen, sir. I've given orders to hold anyone disguised as anyone. That'll be a lot of help, won't it? Who's this woman? What's she doing here? I was about to tell you, citizen, sir. She was out after curfew. Well, nothing wrong with a bit of uh, after curfew, eh, my dear? <laughs> you really shouldn't be out late, you know. <laughs> You're a naughty girl, aren't you? Yes. And I bet you've done it before, haven't you? Oh, yes. Well, I don't think we need to detain you any longer. You can go home now. Thank you. You're very kind. <laughs> Just a moment. You'd better let me have your address. I'll be along later to um, check up. Thank you. Nice little citizen thing, eh? You're not letting her go, sir. Well, of course I'm letting her go, B-Day. I think you're making a great mistake, citizen, sir. You should get the chance to make such a mistake, citizen B-Day. Yes, sir, but, but she's probably an aristo. Have you ever known a lady of breeding who needed a shave? A shave? Yes. When she kissed me just now, I distinctly felt her stubble. Really? Well, and not only that, she positively reeked of tobacco. Perhaps you're right, citizen, sir. Oh, of course I'm right, citizen b -day. <laughs> Make a note of these things and we'll make a policeman of you yet. Well, I must be off now. Business, you know. Let me know immediately if there are any developments. Yes, citizen, sir. Where will you be? At this address. <gasps> what is it, sir? It was him. The black fingernail. Really? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> No wonder she reeked of tobacco. He, <laughs> he, he kissed me. <gasps> Don't worry, citizen, sir. It was a marvellous disguise. It would have fooled me. He did fool you, didn't he? What? You had him here in this very room and you let him go, didn't you? I did, citizen, sir. Yes, you did, citizen. Nick. Oh, 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 you great way face you, you. you. Oh, 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 oh. I've just remembered what I was about to try and do with him. He can't have got very far. No, neither could I. No, 
no, no, I, I mean out of the city. If we're quick, perhaps we can catch her. I mean him. Yes, that's right. Yes, he'd make for Calais if he can get past the roadblocks. Uh -huh. Coachman! Coachman! Did you call, sir? Yes, prepare my coach. We leave at once for Calais. Right, sir. sir. Wait for me, you stupid white fool! Pick your act up! You're supposed to make way for a superior citizen, don't you know that? Alley! To Calais! Oh. Halt! Who goes there? Citizen Camembert! Listen, has anyone passed out within the hour? Only the sergeant. He's sleeping it off now. I'm looking for a woman. Oh, nothing doing out here, chum. <laughs> you want to try my matra? Well, I don't mean that. Oh, I loathe these peasants. Give me the aristocracy any time. Has anyone passed through here this evening? No, not as far as I know, citizen. Well, you keep a sharp lookout. Mind me hat. Just keep a sharp lookout. There may be an Englishman, a woman, and the Duke de Pomfret. Probably all disguised. What as? Well, how should I know? There'd be no point in the disguise if I knew what it was, would there? Oh, open the barrier. Coachman, Calais, with all speed. With pleasure, citizen. Sorry, fool. Wait here, coachman. The rest of you follow me. Come. Sorry, citizens, you're too late. I've already called Tomps. Curb your insolent tongue, wench. You're talking to Citizen Camembert, head of the secret police of the glorious new French Republic. Vive legality! Vive fraternity! Vive la oh, liberté! Shut Be up. I wish you wouldn't keep thieving all over the place. Now, listen to me, woman. Have you had any men in here disguised as women? Oh, I should say not. What sort of place do you think this is? We are looking for a man who's trying to flee the country disguised as a woman. Well, there's nobody here except me, and I'm just going off. She's gone off, if you ask me. She's gone off. Wait! She could be him. She's got the right build. Leave it to me, citizen, sir. All right, woman. Give us a kiss. Oh! 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 Uh, Stop uh, letting about! Oh. Well? No beard. Come along then, we'll try the harbour. Come along. And let that be a lesson to you, woman. Oi, blackhead! <laughs> Black fingernail! I don't believe it. The horse? He couldn't have been. Duke, come on, Duke. Come on. Search come on, everywhere! Look out! Here they come! They can't be far away! Well, that's Tony. We'll never get to the boat now. Don't worry about it. Just give me a hat and coat. Quick! Hello. <laughs> <laughs> a thousand francs for the first man who takes the fingernail alive! A thousand francs? <laughs> I'll keep them busy. Meet you at the boat. It's me, Tit he. After he. After who? After him. After you. You can't catch me. Open the doors. He's in here somewhere. Sounds <gasps> to the woman. And what a cracker. What means this intrusion, monsieur? How handsome he is. And if we eat a gentleman. I mean you no harm, mademoiselle. Opportunity would be a fine thing. Please, leave at once. 
Oh, if he does, I shall surely swoon with disappointment. Alas, I cannot. Just look how that pretty bosom heaves. Pray, why not? Oh, why does my pretty bosom heave so? The secret police are after me. What's this pounding in my ear holes? Could I be in love with her? A secret police? But why? Oh, my flattering heart. Can it be I love him? They seek me because I am the black fingernail. Black fingernail? My hero in person. I must love her, or I certainly wouldn't have told her that. I and all France are in your debt, monsieur. I salute you. Mm. Now, that's what I call a salute. Oh, I would do anything for you, anything. Your wish is my command, and your desire is my desire. Really? He thinks if I play me cards right, I might be under a good thing here. Hooray! Hooray in the name of Citizen Camembert and the glorious new French Republic! Vive l'equality! Vive fraternity! Oh, vive shut la... up! Open up! We wish to search the room! One moment, please! Open up! You must flee! DJ! Open up the door! Open up the door! Come along in there! Open up! Go quickly, my dear, it's love. I will return. Yes. Take this as a token of my undying love. What a beautiful locket. It was my mother's. It contains her last set of teeth. Thank you. I will think of you every time I clean them. Ouvre! Ouvre! Oh, go, man, go. Till we meet again. Disguises and funny voices won't help you now. Take him below and get fresh horses. We leave for Paris immediately. And be... Be dead. Where is he? And this, you claim, is the black fingernail? Yes, citizen Robespierre. But this is a woman. Oh, yes. He may look like a woman, but the fingernail is a master of deception just because you rode all the way from Calais, side saddle. All right, Citizen Camembert, if you insist this is a man. Prove it. Me? But how? How? How, he asks. Call yourself a Frenchman. <clears throat> if, uh, if I might make a suggestion, Citizen, sir. Well, what is it? Well, I have an infallible method for finding out the true sex, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Sooner or later, sir, he or she will want to go and powder his or her nose. Right, sir. When that time comes, we merely put him or her in a place that has two cloakrooms, ladies and gents, then secretly observe which one he or she goes into. Citizen Bidet, I really must commend you. Any time, citizen. Any time. If I chopped off your head, you'd still have as much brains as you have now. Thank you, sir. I'll show you what sex she is. There. Have either of you ever seen a man looking like that? Well, it's marvellous what you can do with a bit of padding. If I could just have a bit of a prod... No, you cannot have a bit of a prod. Imbecile, admit it. This fingernail has made a monkey out of you yet again. All right, girl, tell me, uh, where is he? Out of your reach, safe back in England. It should be quite obvious to you now, Camembert. She and this fingernail have been in collusion together. Oh, no, citizen. I don't think they had time for anything like that. Take her away. And make her talk. And get me this fingernail. Yes, citizen. But it won't be easy if he's gone back to England. Then go to England. Find him. Unfrock this master of deception. But what if I fail? And don't bother to get your hair cut! <laughs> I told you to find this accursed black fingernail. Well, what's going to happen to me 
me while you're away. What do you mean? What's going to happen to me? Well, you're supposed to be my protector. Who's going to protect me? I can't think about things like that at the moment. I'm in immediate danger of watching my own head roll. Well, it wouldn't roll very far. It's too square. I wish you wouldn't keep doing that. Honestly, when you undress, it's like emptying a dustbin. Well, why don't you buy me a wastebasket, then? That's all I've ever really wanted out of life, the simple things. I'd like to marry a nice man with a fortune. And a chateau. And a title. Well, for heaven's sake, why don't you go off and marry someone with a title? Well, how can I when you keep slicing their blooming heads off? Who's that? No, oh, it's you. Sorry to disturb you, citizen, sir. I mean, you did say if it was anything him. Evening, citizen, miss. Well? Very nice, very nice indeed. Well, don't just stand there, man. Get it out. Get it out. Get what out? Whatever it was that was so important. It's about the girl. It's like you said, sir. I spent half the night working on her to get information out of her. And what did you find out? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing at all? No, she kept mum. I'm not interested in her financial arrangements with her mother. What about the fingernail? Oh, well, uh, there was this silver locket. It appears he gave it to her. Mm, what's in it? A lock of his hair? No, a set of his teeth. A set of... set of his teeth? Fancy keeping your teeth in a silver locket, I ask you. Isn't that just typical of these damned aristocrats? A glass of water isn't good enough. Mind you, sir, it'll help us to find him. All we've got to do is to look for a man who talked like that. A man who talked like that? That's no good. You know what these plutocrats are like? He's probably got a second set. What are you gawping at? Uh, I come from a poor family, miss, and we couldn't afford luxuries like you. Just a crust of bread and... An occasional bit of crackling. Cammy, I'd be very much obliged if you'd ask this underling to take his hot, sticky eyes off me. Underling? There'll be no more of that sort of talk in our glorious new republic. All are equal. Equality, fraternity, liberty. I don't care about the equalities and the fraternities, but I'm not having the liberties. Quiet, quiet, you two. I've got it. I've got it. Well, you didn't get it off me. This girl, she is the bait with which we set the trap. The fingernail must be in love with her. But how do you know? My dear B Day, gentlemen don't go around giving silver lockets with their teeth in them to every casual acquaintance. Oh, I don't know. The English are a queer lot. Be that as it may, once we let him know we have this girl a prisoner, he will hasten back to France to rescue her, and then. He's in your trap. Then what? Shut your trap. I only asked. But how are we going to let him know the girl's a prisoner if we don't know who he is? We'll find out. We leave for England immediately. Let me see now. There's a packet leaving at dawn from Calais. Oh, no, no, citizen. It's too dangerous. Rubbish. It won't be the first time I've caught a packet. I, I mean, to go to England, you know what they think of you over there. Yes, he's right, Cammy. Only Aristos are welcome there now. Then we shall be Aristos. Now, hurry up, B-Day. Order my coach. Yes, sir. And don't forget my bag. No, sir. Oh, come on, dear. Not that one, you fool. I mean me travelling back. Oh, I don't know, though. We'll need something to do on the journey. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I must congratulate you. A perfectly splendid charity ball. Thank you, Lady Binder. Now, do tell me, what is it all in aid of? SFA. Oh, come. It must be in aid of something. SFA. Stranded French aristocrat. Oh, of course. A very worthy cause. And you've done them proud tonight. But then, you've always had magnificent balls. And I wouldn't miss one of them. Thank you, Lady Binder. <laughs> Darcy, I've been waiting for you. What's the news from France? Nothing yet. 
We have agents making inquiries over there, but so far the girl seems to have disappeared. I've got to find her, Darcy. Did you tell them that they'd be able to recognize her by my mother's teeth? Yes. It's very difficult looking in every girl's mouth, you know. Not in her mouth, you fool, in a locket round her neck. Oh, I've never been marvelous. No wonder they haven't been able to trace her. I'll have to go over myself. Yeah, I wouldn't if I were you. There's a price on your head. And another thing, a couple calling themselves the Duke and Duchess de la Plume de Matante arrived in London from France yesterday. Escaped? Mm-hmm. Without our help? Exactly. There's uh, something fishy going on, so I took the liberty of inviting them here tonight, all right? Good lad. It'll give us a chance to uh, quiz them, eh? Come along, what's the matter with you? It's all these humpback bridges and these English roads. I shan't be able to sit down for a week. I wish you wouldn't be so vulgar. Kindly remember, you're supposed to be an aristocrat. But don't they have bottoms, then? Well, of course they do, but they don't refer to them as such. Down here, they're called country seats. Oh, what do they call them in London? Surely you've heard of the London Derry Air. Oh, well, it'll be a long time before I can put my daddy air on a country seat. <laughs> Come on. Welcome to Effing House, my dears. I'm Sir Rodney Effing. Two F's. Ah, Sir Rodney. I am Count Henri de la Plume de Martin. One P. Delighted, my dear. Methinks we've met before. Oh, methinks not. Uh, this is my sister, the Countess Desiree. Charmed to make your acquaintance, Countess. You likewise, I'm sure. It is seldom we're graced with such beauty. You're a picture, Mandel, a trifle overexposed. You'll forgive this intrusion, Sir Rodney, but after we heard about your ball... Think not of it. My house is yours. You're very kind. And now you must make up for lost time. You've got a little behind you now. Oh, fancy you knew it's in. <laughs> So you've just escaped from France? Yes, by fishing boat. Oh, yes. I, I thought that perfume wasn't from Paris. We are anxious to make the acquaintance of the black fingernail. The what? The black fingernail. That gallant gentleman who's been helping so many of my dear compatriots to escape. Oh, yes. That big show-off. You know him, then? Heavens, no. I have no stomach for the manly, virile types. Now, if you'll excuse me, my card is marked for this dog. Perhaps the Countess will honor me later with a measure. Delighted. If someone will mark my card. <laughs> I will, Countess. Don't worry. <laughs> you think that's him, sir? The black fingernail? Not that effing. Don't be silly. Here, he seems very nice and he's got a title. Yes, I'm sure he has, and it's not one you use in polite society. Well, what do we do now, sir? Circulate, talk to people. Try and pick up anything that might give us a lead to the black fingernail. Circulate, right, sir. But you... remember, you must be circumspect. Oh, I was, sir, when I was a baby. <laughs> May I cut in? Of course, Rodney, darling. Thank you, my dear. Your friend, the Duke de la Plume de my aunt. What about him? He's the living image of Camembert. Blair. What, you mean the leader of the French secret police? The big cheese himself. Well, what's he doing over here? What's he up to? Shh. Act naturally. She wouldn't even request an audience. You've got one. I can't help it. It's the bubbles that get lodged in my chest. Mm, there's room for a few lodges there. Psst. What? Psst. Don't be ridiculous. I've only had a couple. No, 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 no. I think I've got a lead over there. <laughs> <laughs> the Duke de Pomfret. Do oh. go on with your story, Duke. It's so thrilling. Oh, yes, well, I was telling you. There I was, face down on the guillotine, with a basket full of dirty great heads staring right up at me. 
I've often wondered what happens to all the heads. Oh, my dear, they have a special place for them. They call it the Napper's Yard. <laughs> <laughs> Do go on with your story, Duke. It's so thrilling. Well, the drum roll stopped. Everything went extremely hush. The executioner pulled the handle and the knife came hurtling down and bounced off the back of my neck. Bounced off the back of your neck? Yes, I had them fooled, you see. I was wearing a hard collar. <laughs> Well, before they had time to recover themselves, I leapt to my feet, I seized the sword, and I laid into them. Take that, take that, take this, take that, take this, take that. And I must say, they took it very well. How many did you kill? Oh, six, seven. Six or seven? What a bloody sight it must have been. Oh, my dear, if my sword hadn't broke, it'd have been a bloody sight more. But what of the black fingernail? Was it not he who saved you? Him? Oh, no, my dear. He was about the place, but I didn't need him. Do you hear that, sir? What a load of bull. All men talk nonsense in their cups, Beauty. It's what we call cock au vin. All the same, I bet he knows who the black fingernail is. I say, would any of you young ladies care to join me for a stroll in the garden? I know a nice, quiet little nook. Not the nooky types, obviously. Oh, well. Follow him, Desiree. See what you can find out. Why me? Because you are a woman, and women can do things to disarm a man. Oh, but the looks of him, he isn't even off. Do as I say. Oh, all right. But I warn you, one hint of the old what's it, and I'm turning it in. Follow her, B-Day. Watch what she does. Why, don't you trust her? Not all are as loyal to me as you are, my faithful B-Day. Thank you, sir. I wish I had someone to follow him. That's him over there. The one who looks like he's smelling something nasty. What do you think? It's difficult to tell with that wig on. Yes, if we could think of some way of getting it off. Like a nice, juicy sneeze. Sir Rodney. All alone, my dear Count. Where's your gorgeous sister? Uh, they just popped out. That sort of thing is bound to happen with those low-cut gowns. Oh, I beg your pardon. You do take snuff. But taking up snuff is a vice of the degenerate aristocracy. And I love it. Oh, then you go simply mad about this one. It's very special. <laughs> Rather mild for my taste, I fancy. <laughs> A wig! Where's my wig? <laughs> Excuse me, madam. That's my wig, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Oh. Well, perhaps not. <laughs> Somewhere. Oh, it was yours, was it? I did see it somewhere. Oh, don't bother, really. I... I... What is it? I feel a little warm. Oh, dear. Then perhaps you'd better sit down. How oh, kind you are. <laughs> is there somewhere we can be quiet and undisturbed? Oh, rather. There is a beautiful spot in the arbour. Oh, really? I had no idea we were so near the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Come. <laughs> <laughs> what a quaint little place. It is called a love pavilion. Oh, really? I wonder where. Yes, so do I. This marble seat's enough to call anyone's ardour. However... <laughs> Why, sir, what are you doing? <laughs> Mademoiselle, may I say that you are the most ravishingly beautiful woman I have ever seen. Am I really? Oh, you mustn't. I've been insisting. Here, knock it off. <laughs> What's wrong? 
Well, there is something I want from you. Oh, well, that's all right, then. As long as we're both together on the same line. No, no, sir. Besides, I insist we have a little talk first. Oh, very well, then. What about? I believe you'll know who the black fingernail is. Yes. Well, I enjoyed that little chat. Now, then. I haven't finished yet. Oh. Besides, my brother, the Count, wishes uh, to meet him. I'm afraid that is impossible. You see, I promised never to reveal his identity. <laughs> Not even to please me. Not even to please you? Not even if I were to please you. Not even <laughs> if you were to... Oh, that's different. I say... How pleasing do you think you can get? As pleasing as... That, for example. <laughs> One or two more examples like that and you can please yourself. <laughs> Come here, you little vixen. Oh, stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop I it can't stop it! My butt's on fire! My heart's on fire! My breasts are panting! Yes, and your hands are poking! Get off! Vive la moi! Down with everything! <laughs> Darcy, my dear, you really must be more careful where you sneeze. You've quite upset poor Monsieur Camembert. What's that? What did you call me? I? You called me Monsieur Camembert. Why? Oh, do forgive me. A slip of the tongue. The fact is, you look remarkably like a chappie of that name we met in Paris. Do you remember, Darcy? Oh, yes. A weasley-faced little runt who tried to sell us those funny postcards. That's the one. Of course, it couldn't possibly be you, could it, Count? Do I look like a man who sells funny postcards? Not a bit. Actually, you look more like the chappie on the funny postcards. <laughs> I hardly think that's possible. That's what I said to Rodney when I saw the postcard. Forgive me, gentlemen, I find this conversation rather boring. Well, then, let's change it, Count. Uh, did you have any luck finding that chappie you were seeking? What did you call him? The, uh, big toenail? The black fingernail. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Aren't I a silly effing? Uh, excuse me, gentlemen, I see my secretary wishes to speak to me. Well? She's with him, sir. Pomfret in the garden. Excellent. Is she getting it? Not half. What do you mean? Had what off? His gloves. Oh. oh. Bad news, my dear Count. On the contrary, sir. I fancy my quest for the black fingernail will soon be at an end. <laughs> information you can get it yourself have you suffered a distressing experience distressing talk about wandering hands you could write a couple of travel books yes well never mind about that did you get the information i wanted oh yes he knows who the black fingernail is all right oh there you are oh hello duke <laughs> naughty little girl running off like that just when my resistance was weakening oh duke this is my brother the one what i was talking to you about hello delighted to meet you duke my sister says you have some information for me oh you must be the one who's looking for the black fingernail yes i am there you are <laughs> <laughs> Oh, why can't we go back home? I'm fed up with this country. All they seem to want you to do is to talk about their parents. What do you mean? Well, I've had dozens of men come up to me and say, what about a bit of ours, your father? Well, what else can you expect from a bunch of beef eaters? Why don't they eat frogs' legs and snails like, like normal people do? Oh, the English have always been a very backward lot. You know, they're still taking people's heads off by hand. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. People who keep false teeth in silver lockets are capable of anything. The locket, I almost forgot. We may trap the fingernail yet. Put this round your neck. Oh, no, not that horrible thing. It's got false teeth in it. Oh, that's all right. They won't bite you. Oh, all right. Well, when you go back in the ballroom, make sure you dance with every man there if you have to, but also make sure he gets a good look at that. They always do. <laughs> I mean the locket. Go on, then. And don't forget, keep flashing it. Watch her be, Dave. Report to me immediately if anyone recognizes the locket. Oh, yes, sir. AC, hey, you're admiring my locket. What locket? <laughs> Excuse me. It's pretty, isn't it? Magnificent. You have a good look. Ooh. That better? <laughs> yes, thank you. It was rather in the way. Oh. Excuse me. Um, 
excuse me, but, um, that locket. Yes? What about it? Would you mind taking it off? It keeps bashing me in the face. Chain round your neck. May I pull it? Please do. Where did you get that? Do you recognize it? Yes, it was mine. I, I gave it to. Uh... Yes. I must talk to you alone. In the arbor in five minutes. about our assignation. I didn't even tell him we was meeting. <laughs> Clever girl. Oh, sir, you mustn't. I must say it, though. I must confess his kiss kindles are flaming me. I, I simply cannot help it. I'm absolutely enamoured of you. I've got to say it, even if she does get on my wick. And I of you, from the first moment we met, Oh, how can I betray him to Cammy? This is a bit of luck. I'll be able to find out where she got that locket from. My little poodle. I never knew that Englishmen could love so. Hold me close again, I pray you. I care not if you are the black fingernail and an enemy of France. How did you know that? Oh, because you recognised the locket. It was set there to trip you. <laughs> By Camembert. Then you know who he is. From the moment I saw him. Now tell me, I've got to know, where is the girl you got that locket from? I will tell you if... If what? If you will make me thine. Make you mine? Make me thine. <laughs> I don't think I can go that far. Look, I want to be Lady Rodney Effing. Yes, all right, providing you promise not to tell Camembert that I am the black fingernail. Gladly. Right. Now then, about that girl. Camembert, as a prisoner, the Bastille. I know what he is. Where is the girl? I've just told you she's in the Bastille. You swine, I'll kill it. No, no, you must not do that. He has left orders that if he doth not return within the week, she will go to the guillotine. Then I've got to get back to France immediately. Here we are. What about our bargain? I haven't forgotten it. Well, then seal it. I haven't got any feeling. Oh, well, well. I have. No, madam. 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 It worked. It worked. We've got him. Who is it? Who? You'll never guess. Sir Rodney. What? That effing? Impossible. No, it's him, all right. I heard him say the locket was his. I can't believe it. That fiddlesome fop, that doodling dandy prat, the black fingernail. Yes. Shall I do him now? No, no, no. This must be handled with caution. We're not in France now. In this ridiculous country, you must have a reason for killing someone. Where is he now? In the Rose Arbor with Desiree. In the Rose Arbor? Doing what? Well, you can bet your life they're not watering the plants. <laughs> He's played right into my hands. I'll walk in there, surprise them both at it, play the outraged brother, and challenge him to a duel. <laughs> the... Ow! Oh, oh. <clears throat> aren't, you, uh, aren't you taking a bit of a chance, sir? You seem to forget, B. Day. I am the finest pistol shot in France. And it's obvious he is no use with any sort of weapon. You wouldn't say that if you'd seen him in the Rosa. <clears throat> I'll uh, go and fetch a dueling pistol, sir. Oh, but just to be on the safe side, make sure you only load one with ball. <laughs> What's this I see? Oh, my own sister ravaged before my very eyes. No, no, it's the other way round. You despicable cursor. I demand immediate satisfaction. There seems to be a failing in your family. Enough, sir. You have insulted the honour of the Della Plumes. To say nothing of my tants. Ooh, that hurt. As the injured party, I have the choice of swords or pistols. Oh, well, we won't quarrel over that. You have the swords, I'll have the pistols. Do not jest, sir. Believe me, I am deadly earnest. And I am living Rodney, and I'm going to stay that way. 
You have no choice. This is an affair of honour. We meet at dawn. Couldn't we make it a bit later? I always sleep until midday. At dawn, sir. One hour from now. Oh, very well. Where? You may choose the location. What about the Garden of Fragrance? The Garden of Fragrance it is, sir. They say the scent is lovely there in the morning. Till dawn, then. What hour is it? <laughs> Minute before dawn, sir. Mm. Hello. Here they come. Can't say I admire your choice of location. I know what I'm doing. The horse is ready. Waiting. Do you intend to kill him? No, I can't. If I do, he'll have the girl's head. Oh. We've just got to delay him long enough for us to get a good start. Morning. Well, here we are, then. What happens now? What happens now? Haven't you ever fought a duel before? Only with conquers. It's going to be a piece of cake, sir. Really? I've never had a fight with cake. With me! What's he doing here? The Duke de Pomfret has agreed to act as referee. Good morning, gentlemen. A lovely day. Are we all ready? Yes. Splendid. Now, I want a good clean fight. No fouling, plenty of action, and no shooting below the belt. Right? Right. 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 Now then, arm yourselves, gentlemen, please. For me? Oh, thanks. You're only supposed to have one. Yes, only one. Well, for heaven's sake, get on with it. Now, now, temper tipper. I am the referee, and we shall start when I am ready. Ah. Ready? <laughs> Seconds. Out. Hmm. Well done. Now then, will you face me, gentlemen, please? Splendid. Now, when I give the signal, you will turn. Walk ten paces and far. Are we ready? Good show. I say, you're a bit close, aren't you? You nincompoop, you're supposed to go the other way. Which other way? Over there, go on. Did you see that? He deliberately pushed me. Come back here at once. I'm very cross with you. Another incident like that and I shall send you both off. Well, he started it. No, I did not. Yes, you did. Oh, that's enough, really. All this fuss over a silly little girl. Now take your positions again. We will start back to back this time. That is better. Now, you ready? If I may say so, sir, you're showing an extraordinary lack of control. So are you in those trousers. No, you mind your own business. Now, for the last time, gentlemen, places, please. Yes. Oh, thank you. Are you ready? Excuse me. Oh, what is it now? Could, could we make it 15 paces instead of 10? What on earth for? Well, 15's my lucky number, you think? No, all right, all right, all right. 15 paces, for heaven's sake, let's get this thing over with. Was it the, uh... The cesspit, <laughs> where he belongs. Oh, oh! He's right at it this time. That's why you picked this place. Yeah, that's it. Get the horses, come on. Looks like you've lost your newfound love. <laughs> No chopping today? Oh, it's too early. The unions won't let them work before breakfast. I don't know why you didn't get rid of old stinky Camembert when you had the chance. You stupid Darcy. If Camembert doesn't get back to France alive, the girl's gonna get a chop. 
Now then, where is this Bastille? Pomfrey, where is it? I have got it. You've been there. Oh, there. Yes, of course. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Half your detachment, Captain. Yes, citizen. Right, half you, fall out. She's still here, look! I can see that for myself, you great nitwit. Citizen nitwit, if you don't mind, sir. In our new People's Republic, all are in Yes, yes, to... yes, I know all that rubbish. So, mademoiselle, we meet again. I'm not afraid of you. Send me to the guillotine, if you will. You will never learn the identity of the black figure nil from me. I don't need to, mademoiselle. I already know who he is. What? Yes, an English fop, a dancing dandy, a mincing ninny. His name is Sir Rodney Effing. With two Fs. Sir Rodney Effing. With two Fs. Even his name is music to my ears. Furthermore, I happen to know that he's in Paris even now and that he intends to try to rescue you. And when he does try, I shall be waiting for him. Oh, what a dust of scheme. Now, now, none of your filthy bourgeois language here, thank you. I shall not let him come here. I shall get warning to him somehow. I thought you might try that. I've arranged to have you secretly conveyed to another place of detention. Come. I can't stand it. I'm going in. You, you must be joking. There's too many of them. We're not even armed. So what? Who knows what's happening to her in there? Death or even a fate worse than death. Oh, well, I shouldn't worry. I haven't tried death, but I've tried the other thing. It's not half as bad as they say. Somebody's coming. <laughs> oh! Right, you know where to take her? Yes, citizen. Get going. And guard her well if you value your head. I want two men on duty near her old cell, night and day, Captain. Yes, citizen. And you, B-Day, will remain in her cell. If anyone tries to get in, arrest them immediately, no matter who or what they look like. Understand? Don't worry, citizen, sir. He won't fool me with any of his disguises again. Good. Let me know the moment anything happens. I shall be in my office. Nice of them to tell us they're setting a trap. Yes, isn't it? We'll make good use of it. How? Well, first thing we've got to do is find out where they've taken her. It's very simple. Come on. Come on. of Lyon, Duke de Savigny, guillotine, guillotine, guillotine. Um, citizen, Peter's caught someone. What? At last! At last! <laughs> <laughs> Senses, it's me, Citizen Camembert. Yes, yes, of course, and I'm Madame Pompadour. Don't you take that tone with me, you insolent upstart. Watch it, watch it. Oh, you've made a right.
like mess of this one, haven't you? You don't even look like she isn't coming back. But I am him. I mean he. Yes, yes, we'll see about that. Gods! You fool! Oh, you fool! Does this look like she isn't coming back to you? Uh, no, not half ugly enough. No, where are those beady little eyes? And that long snotty nose. And the rabbit teeth. Uh, see, all right, take him away! Fools out of your heads for this. Where are you taking me? To citizen come up there! I am citizen! Get out of here! Get him out! He's not here. Well, of course he's not here, because I'm him. Why don't we take him straight through the citizen ropes? Yes, here? take me to Ophia. He'll tell you who I am. Out, out! out. Oh, All right, here you go. Citizen ropes, Pierre. Will you please tell these fools who I am? Well, who are you? I don't believe it. You know me, Citizen Camembert. Little Cammy. I know Citizen Camembert very well. But who are you? Oh, no! Oh! I caught him trying to rescue the girl in the cell, sir. Well done, B-Day. Of course, the idea for the trap was mine, citizen. Your idea? Don't believe him, the two-faced little rat. The girl isn't in the cell. I had her removed, so the fingernail couldn't get her. Oh, where to? The Chateau Neuf. Chateau Neuf, eh? With a guard of 20 soldiers over her. Now, would I know all that if I weren't Camembert? I'll look into it. B-Day, guard him well. Yes, sir. You two, come with me. So, trapping the fingernail was your idea, was it? Yes, that's right. Of course, Citizen Camembert's not a bad old stick, but he hasn't got it up here like me, you know. You stupid great fool! <coughs> what was that? <coughs> oh, <no. coughs> Citizen Robespierre! No, it can't be. Just went out. It wasn't him that went out, you blithering idiot! That was a fingernail! He's done it again! Then you must be... Camembert, yes. Now will you believe me, you blithering idiot? Oh, no, the girl. I told him where she is. My coach, quick. Well, there we are. The Shadow Nerve. Or, as you would call it, number nine. It's well named. Won't be easy to take. Not against 20 soldiers. Are those doors the only way in? Oh, yes. They look pretty solid to me. We'll need a ramp. We passed one in the field. That was a you. Oh, never oh. mind about that. I got a better idea. Gunpowder. Come on. What's she doing with that harp? Plucking it, citizen. Well, I didn't think she was knitting herself a jumper. I didn't see there was any harm in letting her have a bit of freedom. No harm when the fingernail may arrive here at any moment. Take her to the top room of the high tower. Yes, citizen. But there's a window there. He might see her at it. Fool! I want him to see her at it. She is the bait that will draw him into my final trap. Yes, citizen. Right, you two. Bring the girl. Follow me. Filthy, great louts. Oh, absolute vandalism. They don't appreciate good stuff when they see it. What's all the fuss about a crummy old bit of furniture? Crummy? This was the home of Prince Jacques de Tourville, one of the greatest art collectors in France. Every piece in it is priceless. So what? 
it's not yours, is it? Yes. It was presented to me as a reward for all my services to the revolution. Who by? Me, of course. Oh. But what about Prince Jacques de Tourville? Never mind, Jack. I'm all right. Yes, but where do I fit in? Wouldn't you like to be mistress of all this? No, I'm finished with all that. It's marriage for me now or nothing. The Princess de Zire, the Chateau Neuf. Yes, I like the sound of that. Well, we'll <laughs> see. We'll see. Come. I must show you the private apartments. They're absolutely magnificent. Why, do you know, even the China thing is Dresden. BJ? Yes, citizen, sir? I shall want top security here. Remember, this is my final trap, and she is the bait. And what a smashing bit of cheese, sir. was a great collector, you know. Oh, yes, he had some beautiful pieces. Oh. Just look at this wardrobe here. <gasps> oh! oh! These were the princes? Uh, his wife's. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful one. Would you like me to get it out for oh, you? Yes, can I? There we are. Oh. 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 Isn't it lovely? Why don't you try it on? Can I? Of course. Oh, can we? <laughs> Why are these doors bolted? So the fingernail can't get in, of course. Imbecile, we want him in. That's the trap. Open them at once. Yes, but I... Open the door! I've had my order, citizen. Oh, <clears throat> well, never mind. I'll do it. Well, come along. Wait a minute. The doors are open. I know, but they opened them. What was that noise? BJ! BJ! Where are you? Well... <gasps> I don't like it. It looks like a trap. Rodney's right. It's the old spider and the fly trick. We'll have to find another way in. I've got to get into Jacqueline's room somehow. Isn't it marvellous? Can't trust him to do a thing without making a mess of it. BJ! BJ! Are you all right? BJ! Mother! <gasps> Sorry, citizen, sir. Oh, I can't think straight. My brain's not working properly. Yes, he's all right. Perfectly normal. The black fingernail will be here any minute. And remember, no shooting. I don't want any bullet holes in my furniture. All right, back to your stations. Keep out of sight. Yes, citizen. Oh. Are you sure this thing's going to get me up there? We used it at the Caesar Virgin car. All right, go on. That I go. Screaming, please. What, what are you going to do to me? Nothing. Well, that settles it. Help! I tell you, I distinctly heard a crash. Come on. Now, you know where she is, and I've got to get her out of here. Will you help me? Look, you made a bargain with me, and you never kept it. I promise you, if you help me, you'll marry your title. On a bright. See that wet? See it dry? If I break my promise, you can spit in me out. Not now! Well? All right, it's a deal. And what, pray, is the meaning of this intrusion? What was that crash? Oh, that, well, I had a little accident opening the window. A little accident? That was worth thousands of francs. It's a stained glass window. Well, if it was stained, it needed replacing, didn't it? It needed repl... Someone's been in here. Don't be silly. I don't believe you. Search the room. Please yourself. I will. <laughs> Is 
it isn't, sir. What is it? Look, earmuffs. You idiot. And knee pads. Are they? Oh, yes. I'm on there. wants me to speak to the girl. Certainly, madam. Oh, Archie, come out now. Oh. That was a hair-raising experience. You? Yes, it's me. You said you would come back. Yes, I said I would come back. And you are here. And I am here. Just like you said you would. Just like I said I would. Oh, all right. He said he'd be back in his ear. What are you trying to do? Make a play of it? But I never thought you would come back like this. It was the only way. Mm, you took a big risk. Not half as big as the one I took. I love you. And I love you. Oh, that's enough. Come on, let's get out of here. But how? I've got friends. Here. See? They're waiting for my signal. Right, my friend. To arms. In case it slipped your mind, you're supposed to be getting us out of here. Hey? Oh, yes. Right, tell you what, you go first and we'll follow. In a couple of days. Oh, no, you don't. We all go together or not at all. All right, then, spoil sport. Go on, make a noise. Call for help. <laughs> Stay here, I'll send you when it's over. <laughs> you! It's me, the Black Fingernail, after him! <laughs> Bolt all the doors, B Day. We've got him in the trap. Yes, sir.
me, great he loved. Hunter me, Mark, careful. Ruin me, pretty boy. That could never have happened before the revolution. Cheese face, the reckoning has come. All right, Sir Rodney, you win. Now give up. What shall we do with him, Darcy? Well, there are lots of things we could do with him. Hang him, drown him, or just ventilate him. <laughs> I'm coming, citizen, sir! Oh, no! Oh, oh, no! 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 Darcy, bring the girl! Come on! Let's get out of here! Come on, poultry! Pull it out! Ah! Ah! Well, 
anyway, we've drawn a big crowd, sir. I have, you mean. You don't think they've come to see your miserable head fall, do you? I hope the rain keeps off. I forgot my hat. Thank goodness the accursed fingernail is not here to see this. I got news for you. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. <laughs> <laughs> nice way to keep a bargain, I must say. What's the matter with you? I promise you a title and he's got one. Hate to think what it is. <laughs> <laughs>